What's going on guys? Zerus here. And here is a Patreon requested video to talk about the documentary Hellstorm. So, to summarize, the documentary Hellstorm is a documentary about the mass slaughter and rape of German civilians during the during World War II and after World War II as well. The documentary didn't cover how many years after well, like decades after, but a period of time after World War II, you know, the documentary was talking about what happened, you know, um, behind the enemy lines in Germany, what was happening to the German citizens who didn't support the Nazis or wasn't going to war and all of that. So, um, yeah, let's, gonna be completely honest, I've never reviewed a documentary before and I'm not really sure if there's any etiquette, you know, since documentaries are mostly all about presenting information, the only real thing to review or talk about is the information. So, I mean, as far as a documentary goes in cinematography, I don't really think that's the most important thing of documentaries, but, um, I'll say it anyway, I guess the cinematography was great, you know, for documentaries, it was good, it definitely got the point across. So, uh, with that being said, I think that's the extent of that part of the review. Let's talk about what actually happened in the documentary. Well, to put it bluntly, um, it's a rather sad documentary. You know, you're not going to watch this documentary um, and feel ecstatic about what went on, right? You know, this, the documentary also is certainly not for the faint of heart. You know, I remember literally I was halfway through the documentary, and in all honesty, I did not want to finish it. Um, literally, literally what happened was, um, I downloaded it and I watched for the first 40 minutes of it and then I paused it and I literally didn't watch it until the next day, you know, because it's, uh, really sad. Um, it, again, there, it talks a lot about, um, again, it, the, the documentary specifically focused on the Germans who were not, actually it did talk about some of the prisoner of war. Uh, German soldiers who were prisoners of war, especially what happened when they went to um, the Russian, the uh, Soviet uh, death camps, which I'm going to talk about later in the video. Um, so it talked about pretty much the whole general thing that was going on. It didn't really, t it talked about the Nazi party at the end, but again, the main focus was on the civilians. And let me tell you, man, um, man, America's got a lot of war crimes, don't we? Uh, so does... Soviet Russia. <sighs> wow. Um, so there are lots of things that happen in the documentary. Lots of things. Well, I'm not just documentary, but obviously in our history. And I think the most important thing about this documentary, the most important thing I kind of pulled out of this documentary, uh, it was really two things. One, the director himself said you know, the whole point he made the documentary was more than anything, the main purpose of learning history itself, actually. Well, most of human history is so we don't repeat these things so we don't do these things again so um that's the whole point of revealing this information because there's nothing good about it nothing happy about it and the other most important thing that i got was the fact that it just kind of revealed pretty much our ignorance you know and i say our humans ignorance you know like history class you know um and in, in, in high school and middle school you know wasn't shit <laughs> Um, it was not, and I, you want to know something, I, I could understand why, because this is the kind of subject matter that, you know, to be honest, probably only an adult can really deal with, and even then, I was sad, you know, imagine if we told children about this, stuff. well, well, and, and see, and then that's the thing, you know, because we did talk about the Holocaust in class, and that's one thing that we've learned a lot here in America, at least what I learned a lot in America, and a lot of focus I've seen is we talk about how evil the Nazis were and how they treated the Jewish people, you know. But like I said, one thing that was never touched is I, I literally for years I had no idea that on the flip side, there were lots of German women who were getting raped. So let, I, I, one thing I want to try to do is try to keep the gender politics out of this, you know. So, um, you know, because like I usually, on my channel I usually talk about feminists and, and social justice warriors. So, um, one thing that is important is to understand, of course, this adds weight to everything that I've always said about history, men and women have gotten it bad, 
you know, it's uh, it was not just German women who were getting raped. You know, children were being slaughtered and killed. You know, uh, one of the very first thing that uh, the documentary itself talked about was um, the carpet bombing that the Allied forces used against the German civilians. You know, uh, um, I can't remember all the names of the different cities, but I about seven or eight German cities were lit ablaze with carpet bombs. Um, according to the documentary, apparently more people died and during the carpet bombing, or in one particular carpet bombing, then um, people died during both bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Both atomic bombs did not equal the total amount of deaths the carpet bombings did when they attacked the German civilians. So, um, yeah, they got messed up, <laughs> yeah, it would, and to put it lightly, you know. And so, um, that was just the first part of the documentary. We kind of just started with uh, the carpet bombings, but it just got worse. That's one thing that makes the video sad, is that it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And so like I was saying a second ago, trying to keep the gender politics out of it. Yeah, lots of women were raped, even like 10-year-olds, some women as young as 10, children were raped. Uh, some boys, if they tried to fight off the uh, allied soldiers who were trying to rape women, or their moms, guess what? Pow! They just killed them, you know? Um, Lots of people were killed. You know, a lot of refugees, I remember at one point, tried to get away. You know, and a lot of them died on the uh, ship that they were trying to leave from. With um, Some Soviets actually came and attacked the refugee ships. And when some of the ships were trying to drop lifeboats, the lifeboats were mishandled and people dropped down and they were killed. Because you know, the waters was really cold. And so, of course, hypothermia killed them. And uh, a lot of people... Uh, just died from sickness and even disease because a lot of shallow graves were created. It's just, it's not a good, it's not a good, you know, it's not, it's not Animal Planet. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you that. It's really sad. It's, you know, um, it's just not good. Uh, honestly, like, if, if, uh, if the person did not request this video, if he wasn't paying me for this video, and more than that, he's also a very loyal subscriber too, so more than anything, for that reason, but if it, if I didn't have to finish, I wouldn't have finished it because, like I said, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. You know, um, and this is of course, this is just talking about during the war. This is what was happening. Um, after the war, I'll tell you a couple of things I can remember off the top of my head. Some German soldiers and some German people, even refugees, were actually forced as slaves over in Soviet Russia, and it apparently the Soviets treated the Germans like garbage and a lot of them were actually died they were worked to death being slaves working in the uh soviets i forgot where i think the soviet like mines and whatnot i could be wrong there but i do know they were slaves according to the documentary of course um and a lot of them were killed obviously because of, and then um one thing i can again another thing i can remember from the top of my head um the prisoners of war the german prisoners of war were treated terribly um and a lot of them were died by starvation. A lot of the the the, um, the American soldiers were sadistic too. It, you know, it's not even just that. Some of them, the Soviets and the American soldiers, would rape a lot of the German women. But the prisoners of war got it bad too, man. Uh, they were starving to death, treated like garbage. Um, there is one point in the documentary where they said that there was actually enough food. There's an abundant abundant amount of foods that the Americans can eat. So they burned the food in front of the starving soldiers just to torture them some more. You know, and so, I mean, you know, when you, you watch this whole documentary, right, and, and and it just kind of rings in my head, man. One thing I keep saying in a lot of these videos, man, that you, you can't treat people badly for what other people have done. You know, again, the most important part here is that these were German civilians who had nothing to do with the war. You know, people were just trying to do their lives. Some people didn't even want to fight. You know, I mean, I mean, of course, no one could imagine. I mean, let's, let's just even, like, think about 9 -11. You know, um, how many years, like 14 years since 9-11, right? And we still remember that. You know, not nearly as many people died in 9-11 as, you know, this, these Germans being slaughtered and killed and raped. You know, and yet we as Americans, we still remember that. We still think, I can only imagine what people in Germany are thinking or they're feeling. You know, and, and the reason why I bring that up is because I, I want to talk about how, could you imagine, like, like your, your, your mom, your sisters, your, your parents 
being slaughtered and killed for, for shit that they had nothing to do with because American soldiers are fighting people in Iraq, you know? It's kind of like that, you know, um, that level of empathy that, people, again, people who didn't have anything to do with World War II were getting treated horribly. Um, and, like, could you imagine, you know, like, like even, even me, you know, um, I, I don't think America should focus on fighting a bunch of these different wars. I mean, of course, soldiers are honorable people, for the most part, of course. But, you know, that's like, you know, me and you, viewer, being beaten and killed and raped because of a war we didn't want to have anything to do with, you know? And that's what these German people have to suffer because of the Nazis. And I think that's one other thing I think that, that, that should kind of be touched upon, you know, because here in America, obviously, Nazi party is, off, is obviously villainized because of Hitler's final solution and how they treated the Jewish people, right? And rightly so. And so, of course, using our ability to compartmentalize, we can say the Nazi party is responsible for a lot of what happened to Jewish people, but not Germans in general. But one very important thing that we have to understand is that, um, first of all, for the Nazi party to even rise into power, the Treaty of Versailles, after what happened in the First World War, wrecked the economy of Germany, right? So the documentary opens up talking about how the German economy was, was terrible, it was wrecked because of... Um, the amount of debt they had to pay after World War One, which I remember in class, I personally didn't think it was fair. I personally didn't think it was fair that Germany had to pay so much, but that was just me. And so it wrecked their economy, you know. So when Hitler came in with the Nazi Party and when he took control and took power, he was a he was a hero. He he revolutionized everything there in Germany. And of course, you know, the the Treaty of Versailles kind of made it easy for him. Um, these people were desperate. They needed a leader. They needed help. He came in. So, so from their point of view, Hitler was actually a hero, man. And honestly, it kind of bit them in the ass because you know um, his ultimate plan was a rather shitty. Uh, so, yeah, and they got the uh, tail end of it. And of course, you know we all know Hitler ended up committing suicide. But uh, I, I, I bring that up to say, man, you know, um, just from perspectives, you can see that. Before and even after World War II, the German people were suffering. They got it bad because they, you know, they were starving to death. And Hitler came in and he fixed everything for them. You know, even give women awards for having children. You know, they were happy for a period of time until World War II happened and everything got, you know, messed up. And again, I think it's a very important, it's a very important documentary, man. It, it, it really kind of goes to show the depths of our ignorance, man. And and, and even just that, you, I mean, of course, the savagery of some people, definitely, because they, they, they're treated badly. There's a lot of things that I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm just trying to do this review really fresh and, and, and some of the things I remember. Like lots of rape, lots of people getting killed, uh, lots of people die from starvation, you know. And then post-war, uh, guess what? A lot of the Allied forces still had prisoners of war, and um, of course, according to the Geneva Complex, I think we all, I think a lot of people who watched my videos would know that is um, pretty much it's just the general rules of how you treat prisoners of war, just in case you don't know. And um, it was violated, obviously, it was violated because you can't, you're not supposed to starve prisoners of war. According to the Geneva Complex, you're actually supposed to treat POWs the same way you would treat your um, soldiers, you know. And they didn't, obviously, you know, I think. Um, I forgot who was in charge because I can't remember off the top of my head. But he pretty much uh, he pretty much made a loophole and called instead of calling the Germans prisoners of war, he called them um, detained non-armed enemies or something along those lines, DOA, something like that. Um, so pretty much allowed them allowed them to treat these people like garbage. And then after that, there are lots of men and women who were actually tortured to death. Um, in order to get a signed confession that they were part of the Nazi party. And since, again, this is about people who weren't, lots of men, you know, lots of men had their testicles crushed. And, oh, God. Lots of women, you know, got fucking breast shock therapy to them because they were, again, they were being tortured. They were being tortured to death. And lots of people died before um, saying that they were a part of the Nazi party when they weren't. So, um, it's a sad, it's a sad, sad, sad documentary. You know, and the documentary is not for the faint of heart. Uh, I would never suggest you watch this documentary without being mentally prepared because it's a lot of shit. However, it certainly is an important documentary. That being said, 
there's certainly a lot of information in there that I think needs to be thought about and for perspective. Again, the ultimate point of history that we learn, and I think maybe this is the only saving grace, is that we can learn to not do this, is we can learn to hopefully the people in power, the people who are in control, which I'm sure is probably wishful thinking, but maybe us here, us regular people, can have the empathy, you know, and the understanding to not reciprocate that in case any of us, you know, God forbid, we do get power and we do get the control and we do have, get the ability to decide the fate of other people, that we have the empathy and the understanding of history to know that lots of people who don't have anything to do with something doesn't deserve to be treated badly. You know, lots of children killed, you know, and they, they didn't know what was going on. You know what I mean? Uh, lots of women raped. Some of them even got pregnant and got abortions. You know, um, lots of even more children or fetuses killed. You know, um, some died from sickness. And it's just a it's just all around terrible situation. Excuse me. And again, the, the, the most important thing, of course, is always, man, you've got to learn from your history's past mistakes. And so the Holocaust was not the only thing that was going on there. And of course, the more this happened to um, the German civilians, the more it encouraged these German soldiers to keep fighting. You know, and, and one thing I actually remember in the documentary is even American prisoners, it said, in the documentary, it said 99% of American prisoners of war actually were able to get out. So the Nazi party wasn't even as savage to their prisoners of war as the allies were. So, I mean, that yeah, just kind of shows, man. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of stuff we don't know. A lot of things about history. History is not as black and white as we think. You know, while we learn a lot about the Jewish suffering, we know next to nothing. Or I personally knew next to nothing about Germans suffering you know and and and, and then and then the, the, the documentary calls the question i mean what else could have happened you know i mean what else is there in, in history or what else is going on that we don't know much about you know and so um like i said i think this is definitely an important documentary to look at definitely a lot of important information but it is sad and it is not for the faint of heart so of course i can't i i can't say that you should watch this you know because it's great I say you should watch it because it's important. Uh, because personally, it is, it's sad. You, you're not going to walk away from this documentary ecstatic or happy about life or knowing something that you really wanted to know. But it is something important to know. And I think that's the most important thing here in uh, this video review. So, I mean, yeah, I'm a little out of my element here because normally I talk about feminism and society and social justice and I'm doing comedy. But um, I think, again, the most important thing is that we understand history so we learn not to repeat it. And we learn how to have empathy. So, again, if we are ever in these positions of power, we can have the understanding and empathy to not make people suffer for something that they didn't do. So, uh, final recommendation, watch it. It's very important, but I guess if there's any time a trigger warning is to be needed... Trigger warning. A lot of death, rape, and genocide going on there. So, um, I certainly hope I made the person who requested this video happy. Uh, if you want your own video, you know, go ahead and, you know, donate on that Patreon thing. Or, drop your request down below. That being said, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment, comment box below. And as always, have a great day. I will see you cool cats soon. Adios.